Um, everybody who listens to sing right now must understand that we um, our most uh, interesting conversation happened uh, in the first uh, four and a half minutes prior to pressing recording. My, my apologies. It's, it's always should, with. Should we go back to that conversation? You uh, saw somebody behind me but, in the but, garden. No, my time machine is broken. <laughs> Uh, if yours still works, then please do so. <laughs> you saw somebody in the garden behind me, and you thought they had a gun. And I said, only only you would think they had a gun. So tell me what you said. No, I mean, only me? Well, maybe, maybe. But listen, I'm 74. I'm still alive, okay? I've been, I've been jailed in 11 different fucking countries people I, I have just barely escaped my last time was barely uh, nine months ago with uh, my lovely wife janice um at the mrs mcafee on twitter yeah. <laughs> two e's with two before e's we, in any before case we yes. go on, oh yes absolutely before i better on. tell people who this random person I'm talking to is because some people some people will know exactly who you are and some people are so I'm going to start off in the traditional way which is welcome to the Delling Pod with me James Delling Pod and I am so so excited about this week's guest uh, his name and he'll need no introduction to some of you but he will to others is Mr John McAfee so John those people who haven't a clue who this random guy in the, uh, the in the check shirt is? How would you how would you best describe yourself? Well, listen, if you hadn't spoiled things, quite frankly, by by alerting those who did not know who I was, yeah. that I might actually be someone uh, that they would want to get to know. No, 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 no. If we'd started just with me, some check shirt guy, and they're going, well, who the who the fuck is this? Uh, yeah. Would it? But have been a far more interesting podcast. I'm just saying. I mean, I am yeah, yeah. I am older than you by at least, uh, let me look at you, at least 35 goddamn years. I know this. I'm 74. Am I wrong? Yes or no? I'm 20 years younger than you. 20. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Okay, that sounds a little bit wrong. But still, uh, you are definitely old enough uh, uh, to be uh, a burgeoning son of mine, are you not? Yeah, yeah. I could be. I, I could be your son. In fact, Dad, could be my let's, son. Let's come clean now. It's good yeah, to finally yeah, get to see you. After where where yeah. have you been in my life? You know, I've been one of the other forty-eight uh, that I just have not yet had time to speak with on a personal level. Uh, but in any yeah. case. Uh, in any case, my friend, no, no, I would have, I would have kept those motherfuckers in the dark, uh, going, who the fuck is this mofo, right? <laughs> and if, if I had, I mean, a legitimate life, a legitimate existence, and a legitimate story, they would have hung around and been surprised in the end. But now, since you've had to fucking say it, yes, I am John McAfee. Uh, for those of you who do not know me, I started the McAfee. Uh, Antivirus company. I found it. It came out of my fucking head uh, and the tips of my fingers <laughs> on a keyboard. And um, among other things, I'm also the guy that's been arrested in 11 different countries. In the past, you're thrown out of three and arrested in yet another. Um, yes, yes, I, I am that same uh, tragic motherfucker. So, for those of you who do not want to hear the tales of a tragic motherfucker, tune out now. <laughs> yeah, they won't. They're and, intrigued already. And, Tell, yeah. and for the rest of you, uh, for the rest of you, <laughs> uh, hang on to your chairs. I'm feeling very loose tonight. <laughs> <laughs> I see. What are you drinking there? What's that? Is that a rum punch? Janice, what am I drinking, baby? Um, Jameson and beer. Oh, a Jameson Irish whiskey mixed with beer is what my wife just told me. And I, 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 I trust judgment at this hour of the day that's far. Pour, Pardon? 
That's what you poured yourself. I poured myself. You know, I'm sure I did. I'm just saying I trust her judgment far better than mine at this hour of the day. So, yes, uh, you know, half a glass of Jameson, half a glass of beer, mix it together, stir a little bit with your finger, suck your finger to make sure you have the right mix, and then down that motherfucker. Well, you're looking you're looking quite well on your your bad lifestyle. What to what do you attribute your your youth your youthful looks? Dedication. I mean, it's, it, life is nothing but dedication. I mean, seriously. I mean, yes, people die from liver disease from alcohol, but what are they? Yeah. I mean, it's people who drink a pint of booze a day. No, fuck me. You drink four fucking quarts a day. You become Superman and invincible. I don't know how it works. I wish I did. I swear to you, I wish I did. Uh, but I don't. Uh, I've smoked uh, an average of two packs of cigarettes every fucking day of my adult life, starting my adult life at 17. Uh, drugs? Right. Listen, I'm just saying, let, let me finish. The drugs I have used, uh, taken, snorted, uh, shot up, smoked, or ingested every goddamn drug known to man, and, and more than you people, any 10 of you could possibly carry. Uh, I don't know what else to attribute my youth to, because that's all. Oh, uh, sex, 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 lots of sex. Well, oh, oh, yeah. And sleep? No sleep. The most the the least amount per week as possible, five hours per week, do goddamn much, people. You're wasting your life. So no, lack of sleep, sex, drugs, uh, alcohol, um, and, and I don't know, this excess of everything, mostly smoking, smoking. If you don't smoke two packs of cigarettes a day, they're going to fucking kill you. I'm telling you, you're not dedicating yourself to yourself. When my body says I want to smoke a cigarette, fuck me, I smoke too. If my body says I'd love a drink, I have four. If my body says uh, let's uh, wake up my wife for half an hour of sex, I go for five fucking hours. Um, no, if you don't live like that, you're going to die very early. If you live the authenticity of your own fucking body, and I yeah. think you live forever. You live forever. I believe you, apart from the sleep. I don't believe that you have five hours sleep per week. No, that's not possible. <laughs> Are you shitting me? You have never, you've never gone uh, for a two month, uh, uh, you know, of a twister on methamphetamines. You ever take an MD? No. You can't sleep for goddamn two weeks after a single dose. Please, God, right. my friend, you just have not okay. lived. You have not okay, lived. Okay. No, no. Please. Not every I, week, I, though. Not every, you couldn't do that every week. No way. Yeah. Okay. You want me to drag my wife into this to verify my own existence? Because <laughs> I'm not going to well, argue. She can confirm this. About my. Yes. I'm not going to argue no. with you about my reality, but I will, I will bring in others. And everybody who's ever shaken my hand and spent more than a week with me knows I don't sleep. Why the fuck? Right, okay. Just sleep. Right. It makes no sense. Well, that's amazing. Well, you, 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 you're, 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 you're walking in your shoes. I'm walking in mine. You ask yeah. me about my shoes, I'm telling you. You may believe it. Or I would like me. you. I, fuck, my friend. I would like you, John, John McAfee, yeah. to be my guide. I think that that you might well be the perfect guide for these crazy times we're living in. I mean, what the fuck is going on in the world right now? Can you just explain to me why it is that pretty much every major government has destroyed, decided to destroy its economy and keep everyone under house arrest in the name of what? Tell me what's going on. Well, you know, if you... You at first ask if I would be your guide. Uh, I can't be yours or anybody's. I mean, <laughs> this is why this is happening, people. We are looking to someone else to tell us what to fucking do. Mm -hmm. uh, 
are, are most of you not over the age of 18 or I don't care what, maybe in some countries it has to be 21. You're fucking adults. You must goddamn lead yourselves. And if you all see the same truth and you are responsibility for your fucking existence, then we will all see the same thing, people. We will all be marching in lock step in the same fucking direction because when reality comes home to roost, when you're in the theater and it's burning and finally someone shouts fire loud enough to tear your eyes away from the fucking screen to go, oh my God, duh, there really is a fire. Uh, do you need a plan <laughs> from that point? No. Uh, do you need a map? Do you, no. You just get the fuck out of the theater as quickly as possible. That is what the human animal does best. Survive as an individual and with the help, support, assistance of the rest of our fucking species. I want sometimes to reach through this screen and grab all of you by the throat as I wake up my fucking children. Wake the fuck up. And I'm sorry, I, I drifted off like <laughs> old men do. No, I'm waiting for the for the for the explanation. I mean, you know, um, I think um, there, you're asking me for an explanation of what is happening in your reality today. No, no. The, what, what do you think is happening? The world has taken advantage of you, and what is the world? The world that you imagine is above you. Governments, authority, police. Laws, regulations, international relations. No. <laughs> All of that nonsense exists because of each and every one of you. You're asking what the cause is. You are the cause. You're asking what the solution is. You are the solution. You're asking what, what to do. Just wake up and follow your fucking hearts, people. Well, I tell you, my instinct, John, <laughs> is in an ideal world, I would follow a path not dissimilar to yours. I would make a fuck ton of money and then I would just travel the world, thumbing my nose up at authority and having a good life. But it's not open to everyone to do this. Not everyone has that kind of genius software skill, say. You know, most people are just stuck. Um, no? Well, you've asked some extraordinarily deep questions, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> and, some, and you've made some extraordinarily great assumptions. I think the greatest assumption you have just made is the assumption that what I have done is not open <laughs> to everyone. No, you're so wrong. I cannot begin to describe how far that thought, that idea, that ideology is from the fucking truth. I mean, there is a door as wide as a fucking barn through which I walked. Now, now on the other side, <laughs> was there some scary shit? <laughs> of course. The scariest goddamn door I could find. Scariest I could fucking find. 
but those who went through it somehow fucking <laughs> seemed to survive. So I went through it. What did it cost me? Every fucking thing I had ever believed, I'd ever dreamed of, I'd ever wanted, I'd ever hoped for. It cost me my entire understanding of reality. On the physical level, it cost me <laughs> a wife, <laughs> yeah. a few dozen million dollars in lawsuits, uh, <laughs> and some other extraordinarily unusual things that you would not normally expect to happen in an average life. But the yes, essay, they happened in mine. Yeah, <laughs> I cannot. I cannot begin to uh, to tell you what is behind that door. But if you think you can't fucking follow me, you just don't have the balls to. Okay, if you're a man or woman, right. right? End of story. This is not a sexist thing. My wife, who's sitting in front of me right now, Miss Janice, say hello. Hi. Hello. Can you hear that? Hello. Heard... Hello, Janice. All right. They said hello, Janice. <laughs> I have her phones. She can't hear. Um, right. No, this is not a sexist thing. Having balls means one thing. Are you willing to risk every fucking thing that you have, mm. that you believe, that you've ever known? for the risk of something that you've never dreamed of. This is the question. And if you've never goddamn dreamed of it, what is it that you expect yeah. is coming? It takes that mind. Thank you. This is what again? Yeah. Oh, so beer, you're... Irish whiskey. Thank you. <laughs> okay. So I agree on a kind of spiritual, big picture level, what you say may be true. But I'm just interested to know what you think about this coronavirus thing. I mean, is it a? Do you think it's a pandemic? What do you? What, what do you think is going on? I don't know any more than anybody. I mean, I, I, the only information I get, keep in mind, because of this coronavirus, uh, both Janice and I have been in lockdown for two fucking months, so we don't know jack shit about what's really right. going on. We haven't been outside. How would we fucking know? Well, but so, where are well, you now, by the way? Are you in America? Please God, get real. So anyway, so now, um, so we're out now of lockdown. It's a strange goddamn rule. I mean, <laughs> whoa. Half the people still refuse to come out of their houses. <laughs> it's good to know which half those are. I mean, if you have a notebook of friends, if you're not out of lockdown, when you do get out, oh, there's that guy behind you with a gun, my friend. I just saw him. Never mind. Yeah. Uh, no, that was that was your wife. That's um, my wife. <laughs> She's safe. She's safe. She's not armed. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry. If, if you actually, I mean, my wife is sitting in front of me. And if you think any fucking wife, Miss Janice, right here, you must agree, is safe? This one in front of me very closely came to having my ass collected for the first two years that we were together. So, no, I mean, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I still say it's a shotgun. She's pointing at you through the window right now. I, I'm sorry. I can see behind you. You cannot. Listen, if, if this is over, anybody who's watching this shit, I did warn him. Did I not? Did I not? Okay. So you did. Go ahead. You did. I have to say, in fairness, you did warn us that this was going to be. <laughs> I don't know. This was going to be a crazy <laughs> ride, and and you're certainly delivering that. But listen. So where where are you in lockdown? Are you are you in America? Oh fuck no! <laughs> listen, uh, to, just to bring all those people who do not know who I am. <laughs> well, there she goes again, uh, up to speed. Uh, so for the past, let's see. So. Uh, January 22nd of 2019, the United States government finally, uh, after 10 years of refusing, 
to file tax returns because I consider it illegal. Okay, I, I send them an email going, I'm not filing, uh, you know where I live. Well, they never came to get me until two years ago, I started speaking on international stages. I haven't paid taxes in eight years. That's when it started. Um, do you guys not want to have to pay taxes? All you got to do is use privacy coins and distributed exchanges. You'll never have to pay taxes. Well, <laughs> uh, listen, that, that's when my problem started, ending in the 22nd of January of last year, 2019, the convening of a grand jury to charge me and, and actually Janice uh, with tax evasion. And, and, I mean, the absurdity of that is in the extreme. First of all, you cannot commit tax evasion or tax fraud if you simply refuse to file. I ain't filing. No, the IRS has legal authority to come and take your house, your car, your bank account, your children, perhaps, uh, certainly your dogs uh, and, and all the produce of your backyard garden. But uh, <laughs> It's not illegal. I'm sorry, it's just saying illegal. And yet, uh, the U.S. government charged me uh, with uh, tax fraud and Janice. Oh, I'm sorry. We, we, anyway, that's neither here nor there. So we left. Uh, I found out, listen, and grand juries in America are seriously top secret affairs. You don't know about it until you're arrested at 6, 6 a.m. the following morning. Well, uh, but I'm John McAfee. I did, in fact, uh, start the world's largest computer security company. So not much gets by me uh, electronically. And so I found out about the grand jury a week before. Janice, myself, our four large dogs and our staff of nine uh, went to Miami, grabbed our yacht, and we tooled off to, to the Bahamas. I don't know how much time we had. Fuck it. I'm telling the story anyway. So go to the Bahamas. I know they're going to come for me, which they did. Uh, they made an illegal attempt to collect both Janice and, and myself at, in June of uh, 2019. Um, six hours before the SWAT team came, we left that night and headed to Cuba. Uh, we got to Havana a few days later. We were there for two months, and then we were collected by the uh, Cuban government that said the, the United States and is unofficial. There was no official <laughs> communication, but unofficially asked us to return you and your wife to America. I go, fuck. But the guy goes, however, we're uh, disinclined to do so. But, Mr. McAfee, you must understand that now you are a serious problem for us. We're giving you 72 hours to get the fuck out of Cuba, uh, which we did, by the way. <laughs> we had a yacht. Good God, it almost took us the entire 72 hours. But we got out 16 hours ahead of time. Four and a half days at sea. Didn't tell anybody. Boy, pulled into the Dominican Republic <laughs> and were surrounded as soon as we docked uh, by, by the internal forces of the Dominican Republic uh, um, uh, private, meaning, you know, reporting directly to the president, security. Uh, the mean motherfuckers. We spent four days in the fucking... <laughs> by the way, I'm a jail aficionado. I mean, I've been in jail in 11 different countries. Uh, Mexico, uh, way at the top of my goddamn list. Want to get arrested? Get arrested. Mexico. Uh, the least, the Dominican fucking Republic. I mean, I've been in jails, but nothing that could even remotely describe this. Is so Janice, myself, and our staff uh, uh, were collected and sent to a Dominican Republic jail. Uh, hey, listen, like I said, can't recommend it. Certainly not as a beginner. No, if you're a serious jail aficionado and you want the experience <laughs> of a goddamn lifetime, yes, 
uh, go and beat up somebody in a bar uh, in Santiago and, and just spend a few nights in jail, oh, you will also experience. <laughs> paint, paint me a picture. Tell me, tell me what it's like. Give me, a, give me the details. Of what? The jail? Yeah. Janice, I need help, baby. The man's asking for details, of which you know I remember a few. Janice will come. <laughs> okay. She was, unfortunately, the poor lady, unfortunately, um, also incarcerated. You look great, baby. You, know, you don't need to have your hair done. Okay. Uh, it'll <laughs> Uh, this oh, here. ladies and gentlemen hello yes. hello hello janice nice to meet you nice to meet you also yes and this lady janice i i don't know how many times i've been married i really fucking don't know she did um i know i have now 48 kids uh, the last one i just found out about a month ago two months but this is the love of my life. Uh, unlikely as that may seem. I mean, clearly I am <laughs> one handsome mofo mm -hmm. and well, an yes, average-looking, uh, uh, overweight, somewhat, uh, <laughs> you know, non-Asian woman. Why well, not that? Okay, we take off fifty fucking points. <laughs> is the love of my life. Anyway, they're so asking Janice, about. Are you going to tell me? Also, the Dominican fucking Republic. Yeah. I'm sure you remember them. I sure yes. as fuck do. <laughs> um, where should we start? Yeah. What now? Where should we start? Well, look, we're okay. So now, now they kept moving us, all right? Yes. Um, giving us no goddamn information and trying to keep us away from Lars because they had been given instructions by somebody to send those motherfuckers back to America. That became really clear. Yes. Now, they tried, obviously, to keep me away from a lawyer. Well, that's really hard. I've been in jail so many times. Try to keep my Yeah, ass. they separated us from, from yes. um, when they took us to the second jail, when they were actually supposed to be taking us to the airport. That's where they said they were taking us to. Mm. And then they took us to another detention center where we had to spend another night. No electricity, no running fucking water, no nothing, no, no glass in the windows, just iron rusted fucking iron bars in 120 so mosquitoes i'm sorry yes so lots of mosquitoes, mosquitoes yes oh fuck yes. me i mean if you were hungry just reach out close your fist <laughs> and eat them i mean you'd be fine oh. right the mosquitoes right. fuck it was unbelievable unbelievable yeah and, that and, we have, and dirty i imagine dirty we have yes. we have photos on both twitter and instagram i think of at least me, listen, it's hard to keep me um, entertained. I don't care where I am. So in jail, we managed to get a camera. <laughs> well, we had our, we had our, they, um, we had all of our stuff, remember? Cause yeah, we right. But, from, you know, listen, we were in, on our way to the case, airport, too. We had all our stuff. And, in any case, I, I, I had yes. a camera, and so yes. I'm taking fucking photos inside a Dominican Republic jail. Now, yes. when's the last time that ever happened? So you guys can go on to Twitter and search it or search it on the internet. Yeah. Uh, John McAfee, Janice McAfee, Jail, Dominican Republic. And you're going to have some very smiling photos of me. <laughs> no goddamn mattresses. What's a fucking mattress for? You know, mattresses in real life? No. Sleep on a concrete floor or on this, these crisscross wires. We don't give a flying fuck. No, that's the reality. Yeah. So we've got those photos on the goddamn internet mm -hmm. now. Um, he did a little photo shoot there. <laughs> like, no, we just why? Because listen, I, I'm going. I don't care where I'm going. If, if my exit <laughs> is my exit from this life is right around the corner, then I promise you, people, between here and that fucking corner, will be a thousand lifetimes for the average fucking person. End the story. Well said. I believe you. So, how <laughs> did you get out? How did you I'm get sorry. out? Tell me what happened so, next. So, oh, yeah, we, were yeah, 
Yeah, we were able to get to the lawyers um, the next day. They had us, they took us to the head of immigration and we were able to speak with our lawyers. And that's when they discussed that they had to send us back to America. No, there's no fighting it. We just had to go. And so John got the lawyers to file a brief to um, first before they move us anywhere that, that we should be able to speak before the judge. So we wanted them to hear our case before they could move us anywhere. And so while they were following the paperwork, John had to stall for time. And so he did that by faking a stroke. Um, <laughs> and he passed <laughs> up on the floor while they were counting the money that they were returning to us. And <laughs> yeah, and he had a stroke. So I'm trying to be, you know, emotional because I know that he's faking. So it was... I mean, it was quite the acting job we both yeah, did. Now, I listen, think. Yeah. If there were Emmys or Oscars giving out for real life yes. acting, I mean, real fucking life. Where De definitely you're, Oscar. You're work. in immigration, the head of immigration, who reports to the goddamn president of the fucking country, um, uh, is right there by your side. And he's saying, listen, I'm sorry, it's very, he said, uh, same the order. It's muy, muy. Muy complicado, meaning, <laughs> my friend, this is extremely, extremely fucking complicated, right? That's all, that's what he was saying. As soon as he said that, I, I go to my large guy, <laughs> we are way over our heads here. File a brief, because I've been in the international news and so I had Janice. Yes. We've been arrested for some unspecified fucking charges in the Dominican Republic. So I'm going, you know what? I see where our advantage is. They have fucked us over legally and we have abided by the law. So I asked my lawyers, okay, finally when I figured it out, fuck me, they're sending us back to America. <laughs> I told my lawyers, file a brief. It was a Friday at 1.15 in the afternoon that file a brief with the Supreme Court demanding that I have my day before they ship me anywhere, knowing that the court would have to say fucking yes, or at least it would be filed as, hey, we've already filed the fucking brief. You can't ship this sorry ass anywhere. So now, but the lawyer said, <laughs> <"It's in order." laughs> I'll say, say orders. And it's gonna take two hours. Yes, uh, and I go, two hours? Don't worry. Yeah. So the I'll give you two fucking hours. <laughs> okay, I, now get to your get to yes, your um uh, when you, all right. Well, yes, I told him this already. You fell on the floor and you passed out and you faked a stroke. Now, now you come to and you explain oh, that. Yeah, part. So, now, yes. I, so, <laughs> so now um I fall on the floor in convulsions. I wake up. I refuse to notice or recognize anyone, including my own security, which is about to be deported with Janice. Yeah. Some to the Bahamas, some to America. Fuck me. But everybody's there. And I, I can't recognize anybody. Not my head of security. Mm -hmm. Not the head of immigration, whose office, <laughs> three minutes before, I had been negotiating with him. Nobody... And when people approach me, I scream and I, yeah. <laughs> I <laughs> scream and I scoot back against the wall, screaming and crying. Don't touch me. Don't touch don't me. Don't touch me. No, 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 no. It was so now, funny. <laughs> yeah. Now, so they, and they were trying to keep me away from him. They didn't yes. want, they didn't even want me to see because where they took him to, he was way, you know, anyways. So the lady, um, she said, you know what, can you come and see if he recognizes you and, and whatever. And, so I'm like, babe, babe, are you okay? I was like, it's me, it's me, it's your wife. And he's like, oh, oh I'm trying to. <laughs> like, yes, I think I know who you are, but I just. <laughs> God, between, because listen, here's the unfortunate thing that happened. After I fell, they had a goddamn doctor. Yeah, they did. On the same <laughs> fucking floor as the head of immigration. Well, it only took him 12 seconds to get there. Now, he's looking at me through a physician's eyes going, hmm, you know, something else. You right. know what? Mind you, everybody was looking <laughs> at him that way. Oh, everybody. When, when he passed, the when right he was, day. like, um, faking passed out, they yeah. all were kind of standing back looking at him like, this like, is well, dude, I don't know, Just give man. him a minute. He'll get up. He's <laughs> fucking fine. But, you know? but I could see what was <laughs> happening in the fucking doctor's mind going, you know what? I mean, 
I say there's a 90% chance this motherfucker's faking. Uh, but you know what? If he's not and he dies, yeah. it's John fucking McAfee who died under my goddamn care. Yes. So he's going, yeah. all right, send him to the hospital. Al, al hospital. <laughs> Medium <laughs> To the hospital right now. So yeah. I go, we fucking won. And did we not win? Yeah, but they see they were after once he was kind of once they decided they were going to take him to the hospital, they said I had to go. So I was already they were had already moved me. I was actually at the airport when they called and said he was they were taking him to the hospital and then they brought me to the hospital to be with him. So no, see, I knew they were not going to send Janice off because somebody well, they were trying to somebody <laughs> higher than the head of immigration for the Dominican Republic goes. You know what? If that old motherfucker dies on us, <laughs> and his wife, who he said much earlier was his nurse, yeah. <laughs> yes. that seventy-four-year-old decrepit old man, <laughs> uh, if he dies, how are we gonna fucking explain this when we sent his nurse away just a few minutes? So. They grabbed Janice just before they're about to put her on. Yeah. I knew this would happen. Fuck me, people. It's not my first rodeo. <laughs> Remember. <laughs> not, not even my biggest. Nevertheless. So I knew they, they would grab her. And, and so she showed up at the hospital. Yes. Now, all I had to do was waste two fucking, not even two hours. Yeah. I mean, because my, my act. It was about uh, an hour and a half. My, right, my act took 15 minutes. It took 15 minutes. To rush me to the hospital, mm -hmm. it took well two minutes before I was surrounded by fifteen doctors, all of them going, "Oh my God, okay, <laughs> <laughs> listen, if he's going to die, how we're going to make it look like he died uh, in Haiti instead of the Dominican Republic?" <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, I can see it. <laughs> Where to come down? The mofo ain't dying in this country. Are we clear? <laughs> I'm sorry, people, to be laughing at yeah. something that most of you might be considering uh, serious. Uh, if you want to know what serious yes, it is, was come serious. live in my fucking shoes for 15 I'm minutes. For Random <laughs> goddamn day. <laughs> so, know. did you go to America or not? Did they, did they extradite you? Or did, where did you go next? How did you do it? They sent us back to um, oh, yes. London. Yes, yeah, so, we, no. so they granted that. They granted they, <laughs> Sorry. They granted the uh, motion to to stay the the um, extradition to America before we get, so that we can go to court. And so once that happened, you know, it was like they lost. They knew they lost, so they they came to us and said, "Okay, Mr. McAfee, no, where would you now, like us to see yeah, you?" Now yeah. the tables have turned. Yes. The actual criminal courts have said, ah, "No, you can't ship that motherfucker anywhere until." We ask what the fuck went half went down, but everything that went down was illegal yeah. on the on the behalf of the Dominican Republic. So it changed so rapidly. You have yeah, no did. fucking idea. <laughs> the lawyers came in waving the paper. Mm -hmm. Less than a minute later, the head of immigration came by and said, "Mr. Yeah, McAfee, yeah. where do you want to fucking go? Anywhere in the world?" I said, "England." Yes, he said. The next thing. We were carted off in a goddamn convoy, escorted by a colonel of the Dominican Republic Army in the car with us, guaranteeing our fucking safety. We went into the VIP lounge at the Santiago International Airport, reserved for heads of state and other important people, where we were served by white gloved servants yeah, and, <laughs> serving and had, champagne and, and caviar yeah. whereas but we got burger king though <laughs> yes we, we said, I, I didn't want any caviar what i just you want. wanted I want burger, burger king <laughs> they produce fucking burger king. in any case no whereas <laughs> uh, uh 15 hours earlier we were in a fucking jail cell yeah. in the worst hell hole yeah. They had our dogs. They had uh, our dogs. This was the worst part about it. Like they immediately did. They just wanted us off the boat. They didn't want us back on the boat. There was no way for anybody to go on the boat to feed the dogs or anything. They finally gave us that concession. Um, like 
10 hours into it, you know, so mind you, they've been on the boat this entire time. And as soon as we got to, to the port, we couldn't be on in, inside our boat. We had to come outside. So the dogs didn't have any water. They didn't have any food this entire time because we had to lock them off so that they could come and board the board, our boat and search and everything. That was the worst part because they were alone. Yeah. That entire time we were locked up, we were locked up for four days. And by the third day, the third day was when they actually allowed somebody to go back on the boat and go and see about the dogs. So, yeah, it was. The, yeah. It, it's a good thing that, yeah. that all four of our dogs survived. I, I, I you know, I'm a reasonable yeah. motherfucker. However, yeah. uh, if you mistreat a child uh, and a helpless woman, uh, a dog, or even a fucking horse in front of me, you had better be able to run faster. And me, <laughs> the same. So you went to London. You went to yeah. London. What? How did the dogs get? Did they go on the plane or what? Um, no. They, so we no, had to leave them there. Story. We yes. had to leave them there, and we had some friends come from America to to get the dogs, and that took another week. But by then, they actually, as we were leaving, they were f trying to find somewhere where they could house them, and they ended up finding um, this couple that had a large um, kennel, I believe, where they they just had a lot of dogs that they were housing, and so they were able to go yeah. there and be comfortable and, and be taken care of. Yeah, the dogs were taken care of. And yeah. return to America yeah. intact yes. and healthy. And you were in London now at this stage, in the story yeah. of, your, of the yarn. When we got to London, we spent how many nights? Two we nights. went underground. I'm sorry. We spent like two nights there. Two what? We spent two nights there, yeah? One, One night. One. Yeah, we got to London. We got to London on oh, a yes. Friday late at night. Yes. Um, Thank God it was a Friday because I knew that even though England was America's closest ally, there <laughs> no government office in the world yeah, yeah, yeah. Open on opening the <laughs> yeah. after mm -hmm. six o'clock on a Friday evening. So, fuck me, we had the weekend. Nevertheless, we checked into a hotel that took only cryptocurrency and early the following morning left London. Yes. To countries unknown, unknown, which we have never revealed. Ah, uh, okay. So, so tell me, just that point. Uh, there are there are hotels in London which only take cryptocurrency. Yes. Oh, absolutely, all over the world. I mean, find me any city that doesn't have a hotel that only takes crypto. Yes. Ah, and do you do you mainly spend crypto rather than? Um, fiat currencies when you're traveling? Is that is that your, your means of getting around? Listen, we don't own fiat currency. How could we possibly have fiat currency? We don't have a, can't have a bank account, cannot possibly have a credit card, cannot write checks. No, right. we're not part of that world. We're part of the new world. Right. For those of you who don't know that there is a new parallel economy thriving growing right now next to you and you don't even see it you poor people we don't depend on the government. we don't depend on um what the market fucking says monero is worth no we don't give a shit i mean one monero a year ago is one monero today for those of us living in this fucking world do you understand that we don't give a shit what the market says? We don't care. Well, if you don't need to, Go well, ahead. Can I just, just pick, pick you up on that one? If yep. you are totally dependent what on, is that on in crypto... Your wife's right now, what is that in your wife's hand behind you? It looks like a shotgun that. to me. He's not even back there. Leave him alone. He's <laughs> not there. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Behave yourself. Behave, make him, make him behave, make him, J Janice, J tell him to, <laughs> do, you, do, you, do you have any control over him? No, none. <laughs> nice none was ever. He's, yeah, <laughs> He's a prankster. Because some, some women try to, try to reform their, their, their men, don't they? And that's <laughs> ridiculous. That's ridiculous and it's futile and, and it's not even yeah. worth the Energy. With any man in the world, <laughs> yes, it is ridiculous no and futile. Just, with yeah. me, 
It's absurd. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Absurd. Okay. But may I, may I pick you up on that on that key point? If I were dependent wholly for my existence on cryptos, I think it would matter to me very much whether one Bitcoin could buy a mansion or whether it could buy a McDonald's. Unless, of course, I had so many, so many Bitcoin that, that it was irrelevant. Well, first of all, nobody in the right fucking mind either accepts Bitcoin or uses Bitcoin. It's, it's, it's a uh, really? artifact. Thanks, baby. Okay, Janice it's nice talking to you. <laughs> it's, it's an artifact. Yeah, bye, Janice. It's an artifact from an old... <laughs> ancient age of cryptocurrency and bitcoin's not real nobody accepts it or takes it anymore no oh so so, so so what so what what should i have now if i wanted to be to, to be like you to live your life using crypto for what its purpose is you should have nothing nothing why bother getting involved if you think the market is going to make you money or lose you money then if, why don't you go to las vegas and play roulette or craps or just the fucking slot machines with no difference. But if you yeah. see what crypto is and what its potential is and what people today are using it for, yeah. you don't look at the price of Monero. I don't give a shit if it's $63 or 6000 it doesn't matter to me, even though that's all I own. All that I know is the deals I have made with people, which have gone on for over a year, are you'll sell me those shoes for 0.13 on their own. As long as that deal is kept, do I give a flying fuck what the market says? Only if I want to get out of crypto and try to get rich. But if I'm that sort of person, then you would never have been invited to this fucking circle of truth, people. Because we don't give a goddamn fuck about so, what the price of Monero is in relationship to goddamn dollars. So to be clear, when you want to buy a, a beer in a hotel or a, a, a Jameson and, and beer, obviously that's your tipple. Do you do you use Monero? Is that is that the currency of choice? If I'm staying at the hotel, of course, duh. Yeah. And the price of that the the cost of the room has nothing to do with what the fucking market is doing that day, because the right. owners of that fucking hotel are buying all of their goods and services in Monero and paying their staff in Monero. People, we have created a new alternative parallel economy and we're living it while you people are fucking talking it. Christ, will you wake up? And we're out of time. Thank you so much. <laughs> All right, thank you. That's been very interesting. Great, thank you. Bye-bye.